Hi guys, it's Miss Tremaine, and we're here for another lesson in our Praise and Worship series. As promised, we're going to continue what we were learning before we started missing our time with you guys. So, that next lesson would have been all about Job. Job chapter 1. And so, in Job chapter 1, it's a character in the Bible, the book of the Bible, named after him. His name is Job. And in chapter one, he loses everything, right? And so life as he knows it um, changes in the course of a couple of hours in one day. Um, before, when the day started, he has everything anybody could ever want. Back in that time, he had a huge crop with lots of um, fruits and vegetables. He had livestock, he had everything. This made you rich. So he was basically a wealthy person with everything that he wanted. He had a huge family, that was very important. And he had a lot to give, right? And so everyone would look at him as a successful person. In our day and time, what does that look like? Well, that looks like um, you having everything you ever dreamed of. You have a big car, a big house, a great job, a big family, everything that you ever wanted. And what if, just what if, it was all wiped away? just like that so this happened to Job and since we're talking about praise and worship what did he do when everything was taken away from him well the great thing about Job and the reason why he has a book in the Bible right is because he kept his faithfulness to God he believed what the word said about God and he believed that he still loved him that he would continue to bless him that he would continue to take care of him and so that's what made him different from other people sometimes when bad things happen to us then we shrink back we cry and we wonder why did God do this to us right what did I do wrong well, in Job's case he didn't do that in Job's case he went he prayed he still uplifted the name of God he still believed that God loved him very much and even when people came for him, right? You ever had some haters come for you? Or people that don't really care about you or have your best interests try and tell you? It must have been something that you did. Well, in his case, he said, I didn't do anything. It's not me. But I'm not going to lose faith in my God. They said, why are you still praising your God if your God lets these things happen to you? And he said, I won't be moved. I'm still going to praise God, right? And so this is what we want you to do. We want you to be more like Job. I want to be more like Job. When things that are bad happen to me, I want to be able to lift Jesus' name on high. I want to be able to smile inside and know that even though it hurts and even though it's hard, I can keep going. And I have a God that loves me just like Job. You know, another funny thing is when I was reading this story, it reminded me of kind of like what we're going through today, right? In the blink of an eye, all of a sudden, we didn't have school. We didn't have our friends that we see every day, right? So some of us have been kind of locked in the house. Life is different, just like that. But guess what? Can you relate? Can you relate? I definitely can. I've lost things in a drop of a hat and then had to wonder, God, what do I do next? What's going to happen? And because I love God and I know God loves me, then I've been able to praise his name and I've been able to find joy and happiness when things have been really bad. So I want you to look at the bright side. Is there a bright side? Absolutely. We've got more time with our friends or our family within our homes, right? We've got more time with our parents. We've got more time to praise God, and we even get a bonus. What's the bonus? Well, we can explore, right? We can explore, we can have new hobbies, we can check out new things, and we don't have someone telling us every waking thing to do, right? So we've got some space to grow, space to explore, and that's a definite bonus. So you can look at the bright side of things, praise God for what we do have, and just keep it moving. And so some of you might remember our memory verse that we were working on, right? And our memory verse was, let everything that has life 
praise the Lord. Some of you guys know that we made up our own song and our own little dance to that. And if you still know it, definitely send us a message, throw your hands up, say hi, and even record you doing the dance and the song the way we practiced it when we did it. So that's the memory verse that we have been working on, and I want you to make that a part of your heart. It was Psalms 150. And we said, let everything that has life praise the Lord. I want to pray out with you guys before we go, just so that we're on the same accord. And I can't wait to see you until next time on Church Online, right? So this prayer, close your eyes and pray with me. Heavenly Father, we praise your name even in bad times because we praise your name even in the good times. We know that you are with us both times. You are always with us and we are not alone. In Jesus' name, protect us and keep us until the next time. We love you. Can't wait to see you again next week at Church Online.